What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to be moving on with the story. I hope you guys have had a great couple of days lately. I know the last episode was like four or five days ago, so I'm glad to see you guys back. Um, I love taking these little like gaps of breaks when it comes to Red Dead because it allows me to check out your guys's comments and use like any tips or advice that you guys have given me and apply that into the next episode, which we will be doing today. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the journal. First of all, we saved Jack in the last episode. That was great. We went to San Denis. San Denis was a learning curve. If you watched the last episode, I was trying to ride my horse throughout that city and I was just going way too fast. There's way too many obstacles and just people in the way. You can't just like fully gallop in that city because you will bump into each and everything there. Anyways, let's read the journal and get caught up. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and a means to getting to us. Whole thing turned nasty and he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake. So came back to camp with us. There always seems to be more bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. We went horse thieving. Our greed getting the better of us. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that gray family, the patriarch, Tavish, a particularly unpleasant one of what seems a reasonably unpleasant family. He had us believing that the Braithwaite woman owned some highly prized English thoroughbreds or Arab chargers or whatever they were supposed to be and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots, so I guess at least some prizes was being handed out. <laughs> I have been recuperating after an interesting encounter with Cole Madriscoll. This was after the kidnapping. Dutch got it into his mind to meet the bastard, to somehow end all this lunacy. Only Colm did not share Dutch's sense of honor amongst thieves. Whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then lure all of the rest of us into a trap so we could get arrested and Colm would disappear away. Us somehow carrying off his sin. Along with our own to the gallows. Seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world even less than we are. More by luck than judgment, I escaped and somehow got back here. More dead than alive and collapsed into bed for a few feverish days after much nursing from Miss Grimshaw and Miss Tilly. Aw, thank you, Tilly. And much guilt-ridden apologies from Dutch over his stupidity. I survived okay. My shoulder where I was shot. Ain't come down with gangrene and I will live, if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaites have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the uh, aristocracy. Oh, Sean. That makes me so sad. Sean has been killed. I'm more sad than I can admit. I love that little loudmouth wretch more than I knew. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together, and now he's dead. His head shot half off in an ambush. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. And that's our new home. Rest in peace, Sean. We've moved again. More trouble with the Pinkertons. More trouble with them locals. More trouble all around. Little Jack's been kidnapped, so we're trying to find him. Apparently some fella in San Denis, Senor something or another, took umbrage to our presence and kidnapped him, or heaven forbid, worse. We burnt down Braithwaite Manor when we went hunting for him in an almighty scrap. Then we got spoken to again by Agent Milton. This time, he asked us for Dutch's head on a platter. We got him to leave, but they ain't too pleased with us. So we headed into Saint Denis to find little Jack. 
He was told he'd been kidnapped by some local gangster, this Italian feller called Bronte, a local tough guy. We ain't found him, but he's found us. Dutch and I headed into town, and I managed to get myself robbed by a bunch of children. This was a new low, even by my standards. Anyway, we found Mr. Bronte and are going to pay him a call. We better get the boy back soon. Not least because if we don't, Abigail will kill the lot of us. All this after we burned down the Braithwaite Manor House looking for him and made some real enemies of ourselves back in that country. We're now hiding deep in the swamps, trying not to get eaten by wildlife or sunk too deep in the mud. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps are the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. True. But the swamps pretty are also true. Let's just try to think of where we can run next. But in the meantime, we are deep in the swamps, hiding in some disease-ridden old plantation house, mostly swallowed up by nature. Guess we will find Jack, get some money, then flee. But where? These bastards ain't giving up. We're a long way east of land, we know, and far from real open country. Met a curious Frenchman in a bar. Brought him a, uh, bought him a drink, and he gave me a picture. Said he was an artist, although I'm not sure I see what is so good about it. Met a monk. Helped him free a couple of poor bastards from the islands, someplace who were kept prisoner. The monk. What was his name? Brother something or another? Was a good fellow. One of these innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and even about yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. Place always seemed dark and brutal to me. Met a weird fella. Wants a hundred gallons of moonshine for love. That's the professor. Never heard such nonsense in all my life. And I know some talkers of nonsense. Guess I'll go ask that clerk. Alden? Trelawney's disappointed friend. If maybe he knows a way of finding it. As I think there's money in this. We'll do that mission um, in this video. Met a crazy man in San Denis. A professor no less. Marco Dragic. This is Rockstar's interpretation of Tesla. I'm still amazed by what I experienced. He had me control a tiny boat remotely. How? I have no idea. I did not understand any of it. But even though he was annoying and a sharp mouth, he seemed obviously high, highly intelligent. Was I duped? I have no idea. Wouldn't be the first time I've fallen for the rantings of an intelligent man telling me how to think. Only he didn't tell me how to think. Whole thing was odd. Told me to come see him at his lab at Dover Hill. Maybe. Saint Denis. I always heard San Denis was one of the seven wonders of the world. If this is so, I don't care much to see the other six. It's a depressing place that shows you the only thing worse than people is a whole lot of people. I have not ever met a lizard in his suit before. Only now I have, and his name is Angelo Bronte. He's either our salvation or our damnation. The city's strong man. Arrived from Italy a few years ago and now knows and controls everything and everyone. He had not harmed Jack other than feeding him strange food. And Dutch seems to think that maybe we can get something from this oily dictator. Personally, I don't trust him more than I trust any hungry animal not to try and eat me. But for now, we are somewhat safe and hidden. Whole place gives me the creeps. Mary wrote to me. Wants to see me again. Oh, Mary, what fools we are. What a fool I am. You are a little bit of a fool, Arthur Morgan. All right, I forgot I didn't have my hat last time. We had just collected a debt. Speaking of tips and advice, somebody gave me a really good tip in the last episode where if I go to the box and contribute, I can drop items instead of money. So I get to basically level up the camp using the money I get from the items, which is good. Please. What's up? What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My oh, legs dang. all numb. That's not good. What? Hands up now. Hands up? I don't think so. Best is gonna bury you. Where'd y'all come from? You are done for now. She tried to rob me. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, these guys is getting smart. Is there more guys out there somewhere? I think I got them all. What in the world? They used that woman to lure me here and try to rob me. Well, it didn't work. 
and I actually quick drawed. Finally. I haven't really been doing it, so. I had to pull my gun out. That's why I had my gun on the ready, because I was like, Let's go, girl. Yeah. Witness. Ooh, oh, this guy? I don't like riding with trouble. You stay away from me. You know what? Forget about it. Move out of the way. With hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do anything crazy, sir. Yeah. Okay. You hiding from someone out here or something? Yep. Maybe. Hey, he's either. He was a witness for like two seconds and then he was like, never mind. All right. Well, anyways, let me put Arthur's hat back on. We're also going to go into San Denis and do some shopping, clothes shopping. I feel like we should shop for some clothes for Arthur. It's been a minute and there's probably some really nice clothes out here. We can also put our horses in the stable, by the way. We should do that. Um, so yeah, there's there's a couple of different things that we could be doing in this episode. Uh, we can pop in through here. Oh my god. Yeah. The video just started and we already got ambushed. What a way to start. I'm not going to do any missions here yet. Like the Hosea one. I think I'm going to skip for now. I want to do some side missions. In a swamp. Yeah, it's like hell on earth. It beats freezing to death. In the south, in a swamp. This is not for me. Nor me. But we're alive. Well, Sean's not. Jenny, Mac, Davey. Folks always die, Karen. You and me will die. Trick is to enjoy it while you're alive. That's the trick of it. Well, I haven't mastered Good day, that bit. Mr. Morgan. You? You have So what do you think of this place? Arthur. You folks sure, sure move around a lot. <laughs> we have to. Maybe I do. Good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. I love Miss Grimshaw. Morning. Morning, Arthur. She don't play about her girls, does she? That's good. She protects them all. As she should. Although it doesn't seem like Karen likes Miss Grimshaw that much. Well, they probably all don't. But I feel like Karen doesn't like her like the most. I mean, she is pretty mean to them, but it's like a motherly love kind of mean. But it is mean. And maybe they're a little too old for that kind of love. You know what I mean? Like when you hit a certain age, you kind of don't want to be treated like that anymore. Okay, we can contribute. I put in my debts. Um, oh, give item. There it is. Cool. I'm going to donate some of this stuff here. Does it have to be this slow? I can't just like put a number. All right, then. I'm not going to give you everything, but I'm trying to put in as much as I can. Okay, we did that. Cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, this was A plus advice. Shouts out to the commenter in the last video, letting me know that this is a thing. That was $96? Wow, that's a lot. Let's go a little bit more. How about this? We'll sell this away. There's some stuff in here that I am going to keep. 
I think we're good for now. Can be sold. Okay, I'll sell that too. Yeah, we're good. And uh, we could restock. Let's go into the ledger. Yeah, how about this? 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 And then we're done. There we go. We're all stocked up. Didn't use any of my cash whatsoever. Now I can stay rich. Oh my God, that's bright. All right, let's go to Saint Denis. And I think the tailor is right there. We got a $12 bounty. We should pay that later. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Well, thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Well, let's talk more later. Sure. As we're there, we could do that Mary mission. You know what? Where is Stacy at? I'm gonna put him in the stable. Yeah, he's just chilling out here. So let's just go grab him, put him in the stable. Call it a day. Um, we give you some food. So you're messed up right now. Actually, let me put the marker on the stable instead, which is right here. And let's make our way there. Oh, there's raiders over there. Crap. I'm gonna leave them alone. Not gonna touch them. Hey, move! Scratching the gravel today. Hey, Mister, that's one nice-looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? Nah, I'm good. Catfish Jacksons. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to do it. Give me out! I don't want to do it. So what do you say? No. Well. Not now, thanks. I mean, she was looking dapper. I'm not going to lie, but I'm good. Don't want to do any horse racing today, ma'am. Thanks for the offer. We're here. We're gonna put you in the stable, girl. Oh! I would give him a coin, but I'm good. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some stable space for stable. I gotta pay you a little less because of the missing paperwork, okay? Okay. That is fine. Morning, partner. Morning, partner. What's the info? Okay. I don't want to stable her though. 
Where can I name her? Services? Yeah, here we go. There we go. That's a good match. We're out here winning. You need a break from that horn. They're always welcome back. There we are, guys. Just like that. You ought to take care of that horse. Got the horse maintenance and everything. She's looking great. It's like getting an oil change for your car. <laughs> Here you go. Do it. Go get yourself something to eat. Oh. Sir, I want you to have this. I'm doing it for the honor and the snake oil. Something instead of just begging. Well, that's good for you. Well, then don't ask for money. You say you hate asking for money, but you're asking for money. Don't ask. Alright, we need to go this way. Alright, let's be careful. Oh! Dang, I didn't think that was gonna happen. That was kind of embarrassing. Okay, here we go. Is it locked? Or is that the back door? Hey! Careful. Move. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Hello, come I'm on. I'm here now. Let's have a look here. What you got? What you got? Let's go with coats. I don't want to change my hat. I like the hat that I got. Oh, I like duster coats. Rambler jacket. That looks good. What color speaks to you? Something not bright, because I feel like Arthur is not really like a a person that wears bright clothing. I like this color though. Mm -hmm. What does the Paisley vest look like? Eh. Now, what is your preferred color for? I don't this? like it. I'm gonna go traditional. Like that. Or maybe maybe this color. I kinda like that. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding <laughs> yours truly, of course. Excluding yours truly, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh no 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 no. I already looked at these. I need pants and boots. Fancy pants. Everyday pants. I don't like those. Yeah, that looks nice. Hmm. All right. I like those. Those look good. That is a Ew, I don't like the favorite. boots I have on. We need better boots. What we got here? Riding boots. Those look nice. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. Those are definitely good looking. I like those. I like this color the most though. I don't like all these other like fancy colors. I just like this. This has like a more traditional to feel say, to it. That looks just fantastic on you. Although, maybe a darker color would work with these more. But this kind of matches the vest, though. A little bit. I'm kind of not liking the pants now that I look at it. 
like when I look at the full outfit, the pants is just like they're they're a little too much. Yeah, you know what? Like a jean. People around here come in just for those. Would look kind of good, or just like a black, something dark. Eh. Yeah, something dark for sure. Maybe like this. Now that will bring your outfit together. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. What accessories do they have? Gloves. Oh, you can. Oh, suspenders. Heck nah. Spurs too. Okay. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. That's kind of cool. I like those spurs. Thank you. All right. I think I'm good. Are you looking for something to go with? Thank you, you, sir. Bought? Thank you for your help. Let me see the fit. Like an action. Okay. Okay. I like it. That's nice. It works. Oh, I don't like the back of the boots though. I didn't even see that. I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll rock with them. What? What did you say to me? Let's get a haircut while we're here. Is there something you want to say? You see this here? <laughs> Lost your weight, country man? <laughs> you gonna do something, cowboy? <laughs> you spend all day on that one. Huh? Hey, you deaf, mister? What the heck? Don't you follow me, pervert? Stop, or I start shooting. Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. Ah! Murder? Oh Bro, I got shot. I need the love. What the heck? Right, girl. Help me. Yeah. I didn't know what the heck was going on. That was absolutely nuts. I don't know what I was supposed to do in that situation. I thought it wanted me to quick draw. I'm not really sure, guys. Let's do this side mission before we do Mary's mission. What the heck? Let me get my hat on. This isn't my hat. That's my hat. Hello, You're a dead man. Whoa. Oh, that's the artist. The French guy. Hey. Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. With this cat. I said get out of here. Damn, damn French. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? You kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll go to the gallery eventually. Hello. Okay then, girl. I wanted to get my hair cut before I hung out with Mary. But those little boys got me in some trouble. Like... 
What the heck? I'm not messing with anybody. Be careful. All right, let's go around here. Oh my God! Rich, top hats, the finest canes, Out of expensive the way. cigars, a wife with soft hands, what? A servants, a mansion, a summer house by a northern lake. It's all there for you, all of it and more, if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough. I'm man enough to stand here and make a prize dull to myself for you because I care. I care. But let me be clear. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book, read the book, do precisely what I say, and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. You won't be riding the railway, you'll be owning them. Wow, I'm sold. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Book and cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Cheap. Let's try it. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. This better be a good book for fifty bucks. I bring you now. I think I made him richer than he's gonna make me the brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the south to help those wise enough to help themselves let me help you help yourselves I can hardly believe that what? I will only help the wise for the foolish are beyond saving. Unbelievable. This book sucks. Don't be afraid. I'm just skimming and I can already tell it's just a bunch of BS. Riches in exchange for a book. Read this book, follow my simple guidelines and opulence awaits. Life is not fair, but it is for you because you have this book. You have the answer and you are strong. It's basically just talking in circles, being like, well, you're going to be rich because you have this book. The book. The book is good. It's a good book. Who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can. As thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. Oh my this god. Is what America was made for. The chance for the cream to rise I'm not reading to all that. It's time you prove you were cream and not milk. It's not a good book. Well, please take a seat. So, what do you need? Let's do the middle parted. I think that's the word bald well we're going with that gi joe cut oh no this would be the gi joe cut i want it to be long though no like this one yeah this one's good that's pretty decent hey, cool please. Tell your friends about us. Thanks for your assistance. Idiot. Now we can hang out with Mary. Who do you think you are? I'm looking good. Yep. Be careful. Hello. Mary's here? Arthur! Arthur! Where? Up here! Uh oh. Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Who are these guys? Get out of here. 
nosy. Let me tell you. <laughs> Look at him. Cleaning his teeth. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. You look sweaty. What were you oh, doing? Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? Ooh. And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> I guess so. How does the Please. fan base feel about Mary? Came all this way. I'm kind of curious. Come along, Dan. We're going to help her, though. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. <laughs> Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district. Oh, we were just there. Yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Mm. You wouldn't. No, I didn't. But. Well. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. <laughs> he wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. How do you do? Ha! Birds are thin out there, but the season's just getting started. Why does Mary ride the fence so hard with her feelings on Arthur? It's like one minute she's like, I really love him. And then the next she's like, no. And I think that's really frustrating and can kind of be a little manipulative, especially for Arthur, you know, like I feel conflicted this about her. Place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, 
just get out of here. Ooh. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. I'm taking I a wasn't sip on that. On this lady, you'd be dead already. Mm. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind God. to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, <laughs> he's up to no good. He's wasted. We better follow him. Okay. Where is she going? Oh. Keep your distance or you'll be spotted. This way. Look how drunk this guy is, though. He went around the corner. I know that. I watched him do it. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. What a great we dad. Just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Mary just had uh, Arthur's heart racing a little bit there. The I felt the vibration in the controller. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Yeah, the controller was vibrating when they were all close together like that. I'm like, okay. Down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Arthur was a little so bricked up there. A good time. I'm just glad you're here. Just stumbling around. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. You gonna steal it? That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Oh, no, Enjoy he's not. The money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. Yeah, but there you go. To folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You. That's theft. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, but you like that, don't you, Mary? I am ashamed of you, Daddy. Why are you doing this to us? What's wrong with you? With me. With me. Because I'm the one consorting with wanted men. 
Oof. Not a fun mother or father uh, daughter relationship there. Where's this guy going? Chase after the wagon. I'm on my horse. Guess I'll take this one. Hey, stop that coach. The music is fantastic here, guys. Wow. You hear me? Stop that damn coach. <laughs> They're not stopping Arthur, trust me. God damn it. The music is beautiful here though. Ooh. Get back here. Got the violin coming in too? Uh, how far is this coach going to get? Yeah. I definitely can't catch up with it on this horse. This horse is slow. It's already losing a lot of stamina, by the way. Oh, they're getting really far away from me. Let's try to close the gap a little bit. Come on, horse. Pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. God, this horse has no stamina. It's not like my horse. Is that a rainbow off in the distance? It is, and it is what do you want? Gorgeous. Wow. Enjoying the music. I'm enjoying the ride. But man, they got us going really far. Usually by now, they would have crashed or something. I need to eat, by the way. Come on, work. Yep. <gasps> I, oh my God. I guess I got a little too far away from it, but I was just trying to, the buyer was abandoned. Wait, what? What do you mean? Do I have to do all that again? Oh my goodness. I made it. I'm gonna jump on the wagon. Ooh. What the hell? Okay. Who are you? Hi. Who are you? This is mine now. Drive to a secluded spot. I guess I could catch up to it. I just needed to use all my horse's stamina. All right, we're gonna take you over here. Do you know who I am? Oh, sir. Easy now. But I know what I need from you, though. Where's that brooch? Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. 
I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Okay. I'll do it for the honor. Yeah, we got honor yeah. for that. Cool. Yeah, take the damn thing. I figured we would. Because I feel like if you Crazy beat him up. Son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. You gotta lose Somebody's honor for sure. For this. Okay. Well, bye, sir. I'm gonna cut one of these horses free. It was nice doing yeah. business with you. Fast travel back? Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Let's take a walk. I feel bad for take her. To the trolley. Thank her you. father sucks. Just a babysit him. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. What? Head to the theater, perhaps. <sighs> oh, yeah, I mean, I haven't been to the theater. Not yet, at least. I keep seeing it, but I haven't actually popped in there. Let's do it. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the strangest business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> They're kind of cute together, like a little bit, you know. Sort of beautiful. When they act like friends. In gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. Oh, what a gentleman! He actually paid for the tickets. How you about see that? Here on the right. Sure. After you. We got a whole road to ourselves. Let's go. That's awesome. Aw. Well, this is the first time we're going to see the theater, guys. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I... I'm Aldridge T. Abington. Cheer. The greatest right. assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed How of the stir that? I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare Be patient. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the we stage, Miss Robin Co. 
Chunitsky. Let's go. Arthur's not clapping. But he keeps looking at Mary though. That's cute. Wait, what? Oh. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called That dress San Denis. is beautiful. I thought she said that they're strange. Like the acts are supposed to be strange. This isn't strange. Are they enjoying it? Mary, are you? <gasps> Make a move? Yes, do it. Oh! 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 oh. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. He tried. He tried. <laughs> That's crazy. He was just like, uh, no, I was just, you know, stretching, you know. The streets and alleys of each saloon, the rich and poor and the bourgeois. She's singing. Friends didn't really give us much, except wanting breaks and fancy such and such. Pretend to be French, but can't you see? I'd rather live in San Dunny. Yes, I'd rather live in San Dunny. Where are the strange acts? I want to see the strange acts. I thought this was like the circus, you know? There was going to be like a woman with four arms or something like that. Well, I, don't, I don't know. The man with the snake tongue. Like something. That wasn't weird. Flawless. Perfect. I see. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle and... I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> I bet. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> oh. Miss Antoinette A fire dancer? Possibly? Belly dancer? Oh, wow. This is so freaking cool. She's going to belly dance with fire. Oh, yeah, that's that's dope. That is really cool. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Yeah, me too. Okay. They action they actually motion cap somebody. That belly dances, that is so cool. to Arthur. Okay. Shake it. Shake it, hot mama, shake it. It's really funny because 
belly dancing is like it's like being a stripper in this like back in the day or back in the day right um a lot of people saw it as a negative it wasn't like a exotic unique thing to do um it's nice to see that nowadays we're a lot more positive and accepting of people who belly dance you know I actually date somebody who does belly dancing. She's really good at it too. I've been to a couple of her shows. She's excellent at it. Bring it. It's a very beautiful form of dance. It's interesting to see how society has changed their minds on it, you know? It's a great form of dance for women to feel sexy and it's a great exercise too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so dead. She's killing it though. I can't believe they actually have this. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. That was that was amazing. It's interesting that this theater has somebody that does that because I'm like, I wonder how they thought about belly dancing like in this time period. Because this is the West, right? Oh. Oh my God. See, even here, they're kind of treating it as like a negative, right? Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I was not expecting belly dancing in this game. Very cool to see. Make another move? No. bottoms
They even got a standing ovation. I've never seen Arthur so excited <laughs> in my life. <laughs> the only time you ever see him like that is when he's drunk. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows. I like belly dancing woman. Incredulous, awe inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity. With only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and yep, snuffs yep. out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. That's amazing. That really surprised me. I was not expecting any of that. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. It was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Aww. Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Yeah, I'm crying. Don't look at me. Shut up. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Aww. Yeah. That's sweet. It's just crazy to think about it like from a man's perspective us as men we get so caught up in the money game money 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 to the point where we can't even take time to love you know what i mean and let me tell you something that money game it just keeps going you're never gonna make enough money you really need to just take the time to live life Enjoy yourself, meet people, hang out with your friends, your family, experience things. You don't need money to experience things. You don't. You really don't. You don't need money to love people. Does it help? Yeah, I guess so. It helps. Of course it does. But I don't think it's 100% needed. It's sad because like Arthur is kind of like the Assassin's Creed 4 protagonist. Uh, Edward got caught up in that money game too. And he was like in love with a woman and she want, I don't want to spoil that game though, but he was in love with a woman and she was just like, love me. And he's like, oh, but I need money. I need money because it gives me validation. It feels like a man. It feels like. I can take care of you. And she's just like, but I just want you. He just didn't understand that. And he went out and he looked for the money. 
And just like I said earlier, he'd get a little bit of money, he'd get a little bit more money, he'd get a little bit more money, and it just was never enough. And he realized that like towards the end of the game though. But anyways, um, let's keep moving on with this game. Where are we going next? Oh, the professor's all the way out here. We could do the bounty too. The bounty's over here. I'm like right here. I might as well do the bounty. Hitch my horse. Sorry, we're preaching about real life stuff, but I feel like it. It made sense right there with what I just saw. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Lindsay Wofford? As the leader of the Lemoyne Raiders, he is... Oh, he's the leader, huh? Wanted for raising a militia against the state. Un-American activities, murder, and adultery. The game was spotted in the Mossy Flats region. All rewards claims to be filed at and will be paid out in full by B. Lambert. Okay. You going after Lindsay Wofford? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. <laughs> yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Yeah, right. hundred bucks, that's it. Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, check that out. The theater looks lit up and beautiful. Hey, mister. My problem is... Hi there, ma'am. He said that... They're an urban police force. And that... They aren't suited... To handle rural... Activities like this. And it's like... Okay. Really? Is it that they're not suited or they're just scared? Sounds like they might have been scared to me. We're going to do this professor mission. Hopefully we run into that bounty eventually. Oh, that carriage looked cool. It had headlights on it. You saw that? Literally, this game, when you pan the camera around, it just looks like a painting everywhere. Look at that over there. The break in the sky. It's amazing. I might help this guy. Hold on. I helped you. Get on out of here. I'm gonna loot these bodies real quick. I just did some Batman type stuff right there. I lost honor. Oh, because I looted that body. Probably shouldn't have did that. Oops. I think that was an innocent man and I looted his body. Now, 
Where's this shine? Wait for the wagon. Whoa, easy. Is it gonna come down this trail? Maybe we should get off the trail. Who we got here? I got my gun ready. We're gonna rob these people. Hope they didn't hear that. I didn't mean to do that. What is it? Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this shipment. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't getting this. Yes, I am. Oh. Yeah. Easy. Nice. That's done, all right. Let's get you home. Yeah. Oh, we got the moonshine for him. That wasn't too bad. This wagon is fast. Jeez. I saw those turtles. All right, we got to turn here. Slowly, slowly. Yep. About the way, sir. Don't get run over. Because <laughs> it will happen. I've seen it before. Hey there, mister. Oh there, mister. Oh, whoa. I'm over here trying to get your story, huh? my honor up. I got your moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. Uh, I don't know that name. Uh, it's not familiar. I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, the electric so chair? Humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Oh what? my god! It's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment, yes. Oh, jeez. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Yeah. As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring what this the heck? to the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? I don't think we use the electric chair anymore in America, do we? I think they did away with the electric chair, like completely. I'd have to look that up, though. All right, let's move on to the next mission. Apparently, it's over here. I guess we got to go talk to the police chief. What is the matter with you? Sorry, I'm actually asking Siri right now if we use the electric chair still. It's no longer used in any states. 
apparently is what she just told me. Wait, what's happening? <gasps> oh. Outposts in the free state of you the You throw your bomb and then run? You boys are putting it say, boy? Uh oh. No, 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 no. We got a whole shootout going on. Leave me alone. Dang it, now the police are on us. Well, they shot at me first. <laughs> this is Bronte's house. All right, I'm going to hide here for a little bit. Dang it, man. This really sucks. Maybe I can hide here. Jeez, those guys started shooting me and then we had a shootout in the middle of the city. What else was I supposed to do? Just take the bullets? Was I supposed to let him just torch the city like that? Oh, crap. He found me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I might be. Yeah, I might be screwed. I might have to surrender. Dang it. I'm going to have to surrender. Uh... Just kill me. We can finish it here, man. Oh, gee. You haven't got a chance. We got you surrounded. Oh, no. Ah. The law finally caught up with you. Don't kill my horse, though. Just don't kill my horse. I can't take all of them. I'm dead. Well. That's it for me. They just took all my money. Well, not all of it, but they took 90 something dollars from me. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, we're back to it then. That was a harsh punishment. 90 something dollars. And why did they go after me and not the raiders or whatever? I didn't torch the place. The raiders did. They shot at me. I just shot back. What's gotten into you? Enough. Don't worry. I'm just playing with you. <clears throat> Mister. Hello. So welcome to our humble police house. Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution so, machine, been an electric chair, and he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. $100? Can I negotiate? Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, Finding a suitable candidate, 
for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. How are you doing? Looks like we're able to do it. Partner. Monsieur. Hey there. Howdy. Hey, partner. Hey there. Bonjour. Hi there, mister. Hey, partner. I'm trying to get my honor back up. I lost some points there. Hey there. Hey there, mister. Hey, friend. Hello, Hello mister. mister. Oh, I love it when it rains here. It's so pretty. He's right around the corner here. Professor. We got what you wanted. Let me save before anything goes crazy. This game has been known to crash here and there for me so i gotta make sure i save ah hello friend hello professor professor andrew bell the third that's it the third the chief says you can test out your machine oh. pending the usual formalities and what are they well finding a suitable uh subject ah funny you should mention this fella here he seems Sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. He's yeah. marrying animals? Here, find him for me. And help what me the heck? The <laughs> this guy's getting married to animals. Ain't no way. That can't be real, but you know what? It probably is real. Oh, he's all the way up here. Jeez. The other bounty is up there too. Like close to it. I guess we're going that way. That is disgusting. How can you marry animals? Good girl. If he's marrying animals, you know he's doing more than that. To those same animals. That's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Actually, it's disgusting. It's vile. I can't believe anybody can do that to animals. Why would you want to marry animals anyway? Like what? What do you get out of that? I don't. I don't get it. Go in here and see what's up. Snake oil. What the heck? Bro, there's skeletons in here. Listen, it's creaking in here and everything. There's handprints on the blankets? Bloody handprints? Boots? Are s Oh my god, the boots are still on that skeleton. What the heck happened here? Is this a witch? Like what what At the second hour under the half moon by the great love and grace of our savior Kaukawaba, Voyager of Time and Galaxies, we cast off our corporal shells so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm, to live in peace and power until the 2000th year, when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. In his love we rejoice always. 
What the heck? Some like strange cult. They like sacrifice themselves. What's in here? Is it money or something? Aged pirate rum? What the heck? Is that temporary or is that all the time? There it is. I just passed it. There it is. Oh, my stem is already max level, so I drank that rum for no reason. Is there another drawer? Bro, this is like the spookiest thing I've ever encountered in a video game. Bro, he drank that whole thing and now he's lit. Oh no, Arthur. This is no good. This is not the time to be drunk. Yeah, but anyways, paper straws suck. And that's where I'm leaving that. I'm tired of drinking out of them. Let me know in the comment section below what it's like in your state or country when it comes to like straws and stuff. Like when you guys go into a restaurant, do they automatically give you a straw or do you have to ask for them? Because here in California, you have to ask for them. If they do have straws, you have to ask for them. They don't automatically give them to you. Howdy there, stranger. Bro, I swear, what? Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Yeah, I know. Better name faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Uh, well, that's... How about we head to the veteran's homestead? No. I ain't interested, feller. All right. No I'm on problem. a mission. No harm in asking. I'm on a mission. I think this could be a bad way to go, but I'm going to try it. I should be all right, right? I don't think my horse is going to slide. Oh, maybe she is. I don't want to be on that mountain over there. I can't get over there. It's so weird because like living in California makes me feel like I'm in another country. <laughs> like legitimately, I feel like I'm in another country sometimes. I'm like, man, the things we do here, no one else has to really do or worry about. It's such a weird state. Oh, is that it right there? Is that the camp? Yeah, that's definitely the camp, guys. All right. There seems to be a lot of them. Yep. Okay. Girl. So maybe we should snipe them. Yeah. I think that would be our best bet. Easy now. TBH. Let's use that and also have the shotgun ready. All right, let's go. We got this. Oop. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, there's a guy right there. Let's take him out. Ooh. I don't know which one is the guy, though. Dude, Daniels is escaping. Oh, my freaking horse, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes this horse is not the best. All right, so now that we know that he escapes, I don't think it's good to snipe. This horse here is one gunshot and it's gone, bro. Literally. Like, where is it? Where are you? There you are. Dang, why are you that far? What's the reason? All right, well, I got this kind of figured out. I'm just going in with the shotgun then. Thank you, girl. 
I'm going in. The horse needs to kind of be biased, though. Because if he escapes, I, I'm going to need her. All right. Where is he? Which one is he? Oh, I see him. Nope. Not letting that happen. Crap. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Really, bro? I'm running. I can't shoot his horse, can I? I don't want to do that. That's messed up. But at the same time. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Dang, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. I'm not going to just let the guy escape. Too damn close. Crap. Special treat for you. God damn They're shooting this way. Ah! Sorry, girl. All right, let's loot him. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Normally, I wouldn't shoot a horse, and I did lose honor for that. That sucks, but. I wasn't going to let the guy escape. Oh man. Come on, bro. Y'all followed me all the way up here. One good shot, I bleed Dummy. My horse is not happy. Aphrodite, I am so sorry that you have to go through all this. It's probably really loud. Really scary. I know, I know. It's gonna be okay. She is not happy, bro. Can we feed her? There we go. Take me to damn cork, then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. Killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. You came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You're not going to the jailhouse, you though. Know, you ain't going to court. Nope. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said, He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you. Oh my God. He's just straight up telling this guy no. this. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they wouldn't. That's where you're wrong, yeah. Got permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. This is scary to hear. Burning hair. No, 
must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! Jeez. I hadn't seen the storm. <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, hell, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> oh my God, that's so scary to hear. Arthur, why did you have to go into detail? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Who's next? Um, this one. Hey, I got a woman I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Arthur is terrible sometimes, man. I mean, this guy is gross, though, but... Does he deserve this, like... Weird electric chair thing? I don't know. Uh, I think that's why we don't use it anymore. Oh, check that out. Oh, no. Oh, I need my varmint rifle. Can I get it out in time? Got it. Do you need to get a headshot? No. The way he just tears it off, that's wild. That's good that you don't have to remember those things, like what gun to use on what animal. You can literally pull it up on the screen. And it'll let you know. Very handy tool. Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. Ooh, no! Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Bring him to here. me. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. No, I don't think he thinks that. Um... Money? Yeah, yeah money. All the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. Uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come oh, on. okay then. Well, you have fun with that. Oh, you put him in there? Oh man, that's scary. Poor man. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do this mission down here with Jose. Back at the camp, Josea. Back at the camp. Look out! Then we can hear him go. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at that trolley. These homes are beautiful. What I'd give to own a house in downtown New Orleans. New Orleans is beautiful. It's got its rough parts like any other city, but it's very pretty. Horse okay? Oh wait, what the heck's going on here? He's there. Bounty hunters. Don't even think Let's about moving. Not be too hasty. You move again, you're gonna get a hot pill in your head. Oh Fuck. shoot. Crap. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. I can't shoot. Crap. Run, Aphrodite, run! Save yourself! God, I can't get a good aim on these guys. Got him. What bounty are they getting? I have a bounty on me? Oh no, we gotta drink a uh, health care. Oh man, there's so many of them. Got him! One of the best gunslingers in the West. Let's get out of here. Actually, uh, bounty hunters are supposed to have a lot of stuff. Hold on. Who said that? Uh oh. You're more My honor got dropped. Probably because I'm in there, uh, on their property. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm dropping my honor because I'm getting all their stuff over there. Because I'm mistaking them with the bounty hunters. Oop, on button. Okay, there, girl. Yeah. All right, let's just get out of here. Oof. I just lost, I lost a lot of honor. I don't like that at all. That was not good. I thought she was just gonna hop the fence. I didn't know there was gonna be a tree right there. Who's that? It's me, Earth. You're alive. Yeah. Barely. All right, let's do this mission. Let's eat first. Place you brought us to, my brother. Yes, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. 
Yes, see you later. I'm gonna eat some stew. What are you reading, Miss Karen? Some silly romance. How can romance ever be silly? It's all we have. Trust me. This one is silly. Huh. A banished prince, mm -hmm. a servant girl who's really a princess, and a wicked stepmother. Are you ever intending to do any work, miss? Oh, Miss Grimshaw, the desert rose. You know, my dear, some people say you're an old crow, but I tell them that's nonsense. I tell them you just keep one in oh. your ear. Oh, you animal. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> hey there. Mr. Morgan? Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. <laughs> Don't we all? But you just keep crows up your sleeve? That's for me to know, dear boy. Ghosts. Uh, I saw them. There's ghosts in your head, Reverend. Ghosts? Ghosts? I saw a ghost. A young woman. You've lost your mind. You poor bastard. Yeah, he is not okay. Don't you have anything better to do? Who's that? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So a party? Oh yeah, old friend Dutch Vandalin just finally. The garden the party. Social climbing. <laughs> old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Let's do it. <laughs> We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I wish houses still look like this, man. It sucks that, like... Now, if you're rich, things have to look minimalist, right? It's just got to be, like, white and black and square. <laughs> Cowboys, you arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. 
See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. That's my people. <laughs> what are you talking about? And that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. the self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people. Arthur hates him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, wow. Uh, it has been wonderful. What a great guy. You, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open road. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Now the good wine. <laughs> Follow the escort. We're following. Why are you closing the door like that? I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. What the heck? What was in there? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening. Hold on, I'm supposed to wait here for a few seconds. Ciao, ciao. Cause this this mission is glitched on uh, PC. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. For some reason, I don't know why. You have to wait for Dutch to go outside before you can go. Enjoy your okay. Night. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Gotta mingle with the guests. I mean, modern art was all very well, but my daughter could do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. Well, hello, gentlemen. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> and again, Bonjour, I always monsieur. loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. Hello. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hugely overrated. Hello, I tried it enough. Well, I mean, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh my god. I should not have got up this morning. <sighs> That's how I feel every day. Go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just gonna. Is anybody listening to me? 
I guess I could. <laughs> Can I talk to her? It won't let me interact with her. I know I look like a drunken harlot, but let me be very clear, young man. I am a drunken harlot. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm glad she cleared that up. How are you? You're walking away from history, you fool. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty, but somehow I am not free to vote. <laughs> you are. Look me in the eye and tell me in all honesty that I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again, Mrs. Wicklow. And you're burying your head in the sand again, sir. <clears throat> Don't blame me for God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. What do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. It's a fact. Whoa! Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir, to hear your arguments. I am your clear superior. You're different, but you're neither my better nor my inferior, sir. Sheesh. Okay, what is it? Can I help you? I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Uh, well, I, you're stronger than me, sure. But as civilized beings, haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. Stop, I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me. If that's okay with you. Oof. That's crazy. Hello, I mean, did you hear what that man said? Inferior. Do you think women should have the vote? Oh, I don't care. I've never <laughs> voted anyway. Well, How that's no do? better. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm still furious with that oath. Even and all. All right, then. How much dialogue is happening here? Good like, evening, ladies. Hello there. All right, I'm just making sure. I'm like, can I talk to literally like everyone here? Mr. Does everyone have interesting things to say? Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Danielson, Brian Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, uh, no, it, it's a new shirt. <laughs> Are you new in town? Uh, yes. Uh, I come from the west. Uh, I mean, the north. The, the, the northwest. Okay. I came down from Washington myself many years ago. This town gets to a man, undermines even the best of us. I'm doing my best, sir. Truth is an absolute sir. Don't you think? Well, I don't quite understand. Well, you are not, it would seem, the only one. I was in the army once. Good for you. What do you do now? Well, uh, I'm not quite to... Oh. I'm an American. Uh, yes, but what do you do? <laughs> oh, uh, well, I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh, of course. You shall be too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. I'll try hard. Much harder. What would you like me to do? To hit the mayor myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and in insults to succeed in newspapers. At least in mine. Good evening. Oh, my goodness. He's fun to talk to. He left too. Well, Bill. Doesn't look like you were smooth talking him. I wonder where Hosea is. Oh, there he is. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. And you? No. I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. A banker? An investment banker. You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Lafon? Originally furs. But now all 
sorts. Lumber, leather, even maple syrup. <laughs> My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who do you bank with? Oh, the usual bunch of clowns in New York. Do you bank with anyone in the south? Not one I particularly like. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh, I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Some nervous small town bank could finish us in a bad small year. Small town? <laughs> we handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients, and we love cash. Our branch alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country outside of Wall Street in San Francisco. Jeez. Well, perhaps we could discuss it further one day, Mr. Knightley. When it comes to bankers, I drive a hard bargain, but I'm very fair in business. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my fiancé. Of course. And congratulations. A wife is a wonderful thing. Aww. Could be interesting. I'll keep investigating. You do you, Hosea. How's your evening going? Met some interesting people. What about you? Did you speak to the mayor? I'm still looking for him. Well, look a little harder. Dang. I'm trying, I'm trying. I was hoping I'd run into Dutch somewhere. Is somebody dying? Good day, sir. Oh my god, help him. You okay? Oh my lord. To save this man's life. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, Algin and Wasp. Hello. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello, Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, uh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An esteem in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Let me get that. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Go do your thing. Glass of champagne, sir? How do you do? Actually, yeah, sure. That makes me look fancy, you know? There you go. Yeah, Arthur. Sip it. How was the show? I heard you went. Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lesson. We saw that same show. Tickets. What? This show at the theater Ramua. it's jolly fun yeah sure sure thank you very much Bye. we'll go there again eventually good evening I wonder I wonder if they have different shows <laughs>
It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, what say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. That man loves what again? Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. You know what I heard earlier? It was off camera though. I heard somebody go, Hello, mister. I'm racist. What did they say? They were like, I'm racist. I'm not a hater. You, I'm a sir. racist. That's what they said. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. Oh. Fireworks. Whoa. Oh, lord. They're fantastic. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Hey, what am I? Mission Impossible? Tom Cruise? Like. How do you do? They might as well just give us some uh, Assassin's Creed mechanics. Let me blend into the crowd. She's really intrigued by those fireworks, man. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Oh. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Oh my god. <gasps> you are. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Oh my God! Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. I hate this guy. So rude. I wonder if he's going into that locked room. I, no, maybe not. Or maybe. Hold on. Yeah, he is. He's going into the locked room, guys.
Let me get that ledger. Arthur did that quick. Whoa. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Okay, just take it. Get out of there. Get out of there. I hear him coming out. Oh, Dutch is right there. <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. We gotta get out of your hurry. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Poker! Are we gonna do all of those things? That'd be fun. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. Uh, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Abigail? Oh, nice no way. Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay, okay sir. <laughs> Doesn't know where home is, but he can smell home, that's for sure. Somewhere out there, guys. Dutch is the walking... Just trust me, bro. <laughs> Legitimately. Just trust me, bro. I got this. get all this ammo we're good on arrows we got fire arrows here gun oil everything somebody would need where did he go are there stairs up here or something I know there's these stairs. Is 
somebody singing. We should probably cook. I wonder where the campfire is around here. I know I knew where it was in the last campground. Let me see if I can find it here. Hey you Tilly. Uncovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. Bro, when is Reverend not wasted? Why don't you sit, Arthur? See that? That is how you get a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh no, we don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. <laughs> John. Good morning, Arthur. He took after his mother, huh? That was a dig. Good morning. You need to be a little nicer to John, man. Just a little. Reverend, please. Mr. Morgan. Oh my God. Mr. Morgan. No. Reverend. I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to. <sighs> okay. What is it? I, I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. Oh, my God. I just found the campfire, so... Let me go cook. Dude, we're not even going to talk about that guy. The Reverend just be tripping. Oh, I have to go like, there's a certain spot you got to stand. There it is. Craft or cook? We're cooking. What can I craft though? Ammo? Onyx? Weapons? Oh, here's the small game arrows. I should make a couple of those. Is it just one at a time? Guess so. I'll make like four or five of them. I don't need like a ton of them. All right. Um, let's cook some prime beef. How do you guys feel about Reverend? I don't know if he's necessarily a fan favorite or not. He kind of scares me. Oh, the mosquitoes, man. Ugh. I'm just thinking about them. I just hear them right now and I'm like, ugh. We're getting to those months where we're going to be seeing mosquitoes everywhere. I hate them. I'm not excited for that at all. On time, girl. Okay. S A. Oh, we can do a Sadie mission. Oh, I have to do a Sadie mission. We haven't we haven't done anything with Sadie in so long. I've been waiting to do a mission with her. Finally. 
Absolutely, I have to do this mission. Good morning, Arthur. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. Aw, is it not a Sadie mission? There. Come on. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre no. or a payday. Right. Well, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh my god! Ah! What the hell have they done to me? Look, they have the... Everybody take cover! Holy crap! Those are the Adriscals? They killed Kieran? Oh my god. And he always said that if Cole finds him, he's gonna kill him. Jeez. Children inside, rest of you, hold your ground. Oh, my God, got him. Get to the front door. I got him. Jesus, dude, I really like hearing. He's amazing. What's happening? It's like one of my favorite characters. You tell Mr. Pearson. I'm so mad, man. I am angry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let anyone back through that door. Arthur! You ain't gonna get away from us. Hold here, hold here. Any more casualties? Just cure it at the moment. Oh my god. No one. Look, What about my horse? Oh, a whole wagon's coming in? You Dang it. God's name is going. Just keep shooting. Back to the house. Come on. What's the cabinet? We need something in front of that door. I got it. Get those doors barricaded quick. Good. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Gang, uh oh. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey. <laughs> Oof. And is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. There must be death in here. <laughs> What's happening? Sandler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Ah, who's this lady here? Come to the window and find Sadie. Oh. Why is she out there? Oh, girl. Where the heck is she? Holy! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, you've awakened the beast! Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur! Come on, Arthur! We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, my God. Dude, she is going in. Holy. Uh, 
I get this guy here. Pop your head up. She said shoot him again. Go. This is the development we needed. Over here. This door ain't locked. We lost Karen, but we're developing Sadie, that's for sure. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Hold up. I gotta reload. Alright, I need a tonic. Hold on. Uh yeah, miracle tonic. Got him. Mrs. Adler. Mr. Smith. We got him running. What he do? Here we go. We're just that good, I guess. Got him. Cowards! Oh. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Home O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. What are you hey, talking man, about? The trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Man. I'm glad we didn't lose anybody else, but Kieran, man. That's upsetting. It was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that, Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Hi, Javier. That was terrible. Take care this morning. And they didn't just kill him. It's one thing to just kill someone. This is all God. It's another to chop their head off. To find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. No, it's not. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Is somebody yelling? Good morning, Arthur. So, no more curing. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I know. And here I was getting worried that we weren't going to have a Sadie mission, but we kind of did. Wasn't necessarily the mission that I wanted, but. Easy killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. Dang, she is covered in blood. You saw that? I'm getting tired of these old Driscolls now. Me too. This feud has gone on long enough. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yeah. I'll be honest. 
I feel like Sadie might be, you know, I haven't seen her develop any more than we have right now, but I'm going to have to say she might be top five female characters, possibly, potentially. I'm not going to, I don't want to jinx it. But man, she is pretty cool. I think the thing about her is it wasn't just like a, as soon as we all got to camp, she just turned into this killer, right? Like overnight. Like she literally mourned her husband for weeks, months. We switched camps a few times and finally she's built up to what she is now, right? And they're just sprinkling it here and there. And I think that's amazing. Like, that's how a character should develop. Especially a female character. Help me. Please. Damn. What happened to you? I need medicine. I keep doing this mission. Hey. But I want the honor. <laughs> Why do you keep going over there? What? What? Stop! Okay. Just tried that plan over there. Yeah, I know the plant, the gunshot. I've seen it before. Um. Where was I? I was talking about Sadie and development. So, a lot of women characters especially in media today they're just not made right like they usually just have like no development to them whatsoever they're instantly just like badass you know what i mean it's like you can let women characters feel too and go through some things too you know I think Star Wars, like instantly off the top of my head, like the new saga of Star Wars. And I'm just like, man, they literally had Rey go through nothing. <laughs> like Rey went through nothing, bro. She just was the best bat. As soon as she picked up a lightsaber, they were like, yep, she's the best. Like, it's just like, we don't want to see characters like that in anything. It's not good writing. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. What? Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we wow. are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. 
And even more obviously, I would be useless. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Yeah, but... Thank you. For you, it was a choice. For them, it wasn't. But okay. <laughs> days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Alright, well, we got a mission set up there. I see they've structured the missions a little differently since we've come into a... Uh, San Denis here. Like, you'll go do a mission and it'll be like a part one and a part two and a part three and a part four. Whereas in the other towns, it's just been like one mission or maybe two and that's it. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, there he is. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking oh, like this. Oh, we're going to play poker. Oh, you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, Yikes. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. Oh no, they're changing my Hello, clothes. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Okay. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Oh my <laughs> god. His fault is grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. <laughs> Might I suggest what? a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Alright, that's kind of snazzy. I like it. A very good choice, sir. Is there other ones I could do, or I could only do this one? Yeah, it won't let me flip the page or anything. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good the barber. Night, I'm not changing my hair. To scope the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Oh, when I don't really got to play. They'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, I have to.
After the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! He wants me to cut my hair, guys. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. He can't keep at least a little hair. Like this much. That'd be nice. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Yeah, sweetest, where you at? So you getting along okay? All right. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, Arthur looks good like that. From Toad, the prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. That girl we can't win he up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of Wow. Mine. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. That's a lot of people involved, though. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of friends. What am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Uh-oh. I gotta leave my guns behind. I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. I'm still mad about Kieran. I can't believe that. Kieran was actually one of my favorite characters, like legit. See you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Kieran. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. <laughs> I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I have no guns. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Hello, mister. How do you do? 
Hey, partner. We have a chair Howdy here with there. your name on it, Hello, sir. Amigo. Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, like, read what Strauss is saying in the back. They didn't really, like... Okay, well, the game's starting now, so... Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Should I just bet? This is probably a bad idea. But I'll raise you. Here we go, then. Hello, Let's my ladies. Nice. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So I had to take that one. You in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but ooh, 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 look at my hands. Just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. Call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Now, what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. Let's go. Ship. Ship. I don't know what happened because I don't know how to play poker. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I am 100 percent Double Kings? In, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Pair of aces. I know that's bad for me. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Oh. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! I don't know what that means. No None take well played. But I won. Uh, 
On, Hockey Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Yikes. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Arthur's just like, I don't want to hear it, bro. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess Dang. You're right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Huh? <gasps> oh! Dummy. Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet others. Sure. I can't take anything out of that desk. Oh yeah, we should just go. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh my god, we have no escape plan? Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Like a cartoon. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. <laughs> There's enough for no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Wait, what happened? There he is. Now, they think I cheated? Sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> oh, he. Uh, what? You gotta get out of here. That was the guy they stole the uniform from. Please tell me you got the money. Shot his hat off. Got them all except that one guy. Got him now. Come on! Who's got a gun? Come on! Come on, let's get the hell out of here! How do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me, I'll clean it. 
Time to bring my gun to I'm trying. That's a good question. My suit. <laughs> My suit. They're going to swim all the way back to shore. Oh my God. That's terrible. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, well, <laughs> let's get out of here. Oh, I'd love to read about it. I so wasn't there. Hello. Got your hands full there. Can I not take it from you? Okay, girl. All right, let's uh, put my hat back on. And look around. We could do this one, this little side mission. I guess I could go this way. Yeah. I need to feed my horse. Maybe he's down here. Oh yeah, in here. Oh, one moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. May I help you? Well, uh, I don't know. I met you, remember? At that party? Oh, yes. You saved my life. Oh, I am eternally yours, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? No. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. <laughs> oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, uh no, I don't think so. I think we're good. I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth 
eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? Okay. I do. Exception. I like money. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. All right. Well, uh... He's one of those missions where you have to like find a bunch of items. All right, girl. We'll eventually do the that mission, I guess. Eagle flies. He's all the way up here. Jeez. Albert Mason's over here. What's this here? Jim Boy Calloway. We do have to turn that mission in. Let's, uh, I guess go here. That's very far. Maybe I should go to the stagecoach. Normally I would just ride all the way there, but that's really far. Or we can just do the Dutch mission. I mean, the Dutch mission is right here. Might as well. Lenny. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, then. this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said open the gate and let uh -oh. my acquaintance in. Yes, come on. Of course, these folks must have something on them. Now, I'm going to need everything you got on you. It's yours. Have it. Thank you, sir. A dollar, that's it? Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. Of. My honor's going down. Is everything okay? Oh no! I worked so hard for that. All your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Fine. It's yours. What are we gonna do with this There's chump change? Here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. It's a setup. Get out here. And get ready for company. 
All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe! Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's it's a no trap, stacks. Dutch. A few dollars and coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. Oh That's my God. Son of a bitch. He set us up. If yeah. Like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now. Oh my gosh. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. It needs to. Hold them off, fellas. Oh Look man. Right. It's one of those mission boys. Watch those side alleys, Arthur. We got some on the balcony too. On the balcony? We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. I can swap okay. sides. I think so. Look out! Right! Come on! Back. Bronte is gonna pay for this! I won't miss this next shot! No. Outside the saloon! Ah. Oh damn! We are really moving here! Yes, Boy, we are. Slow us down! Jeez! Slow this thing down! I'll try! Uh oh. The thing's broke. Hold on! Oh! Oh my god. Lenny, are you good? Oh my god, please, Lenny. Yes, okay. Aw oh man, we're in a bad situation. He's fine. Oh, shit. It is not looking good, gentlemen. To my right. Damn it. They're still coming. We're gonna get out of here. We're in a city, y'all. That's why. That ain't nice. You got this. Take them out. Okay, let's move. Come on. This was not smart. It was not planned either. Oh crap. Okay, they're over here. Let's go. All right, Dex. I won't lie. I've been better, son. Let's. Lenny, keep an eye on. Of course. This way. Onto the street. Oh, shit. Oh, look out. They blocked the road. We gotta move, boss. Stay with me. Our seal just goes jump us in camp now. This. We wake up. We'll wake up after we get the hell out of here. Okay, boss. Let's move. Maybe we need to stop trusting what everyone says. I don't know how we're getting out of this. Come on, reload, 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 reload. Send it right back at them. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Reload, reload, reload. Riders, watch out. How you doing there, boss? Okay. Now my chance. Let's go. Keep that 
that wagon intact, okay? We might need it. That wagon? Oh, that one right there up, uh, up ahead. Who's driving? Lenny? Alpha, let's go. You okay, Dutch? Took a real bang on the head back there. I'm seeing free of everything. Can you stay down. Oh my god. This was a horrible idea. Looks like they ain't giving up yet. Yeah. Here they come up here. Got him. Yeah, I see him. We are going in, man. Let me tell you. Uh oh. No, I am for you. Adam. Stop it for pity's sake. We're almost out of here. Head for the bridge. Oh, we're out. We made it. I don't know how. Man, they get really lucky. Let me tell you. Uh oh. Use this. Dynamite. I got it. Oh shit, we got the law on us. Aha, that'll do it. We're through. You see any more? Hundred and sixty-five dollar bounty. You okay back there? Don't Jeez. worry about me. Just get us out of here. That's not even that much for what we just did, to be honest. Let's be <laughs> We just went on a rampage. How many police officers we just killed? I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. It was not Thanks a good lead. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't and a quarter. Get the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Mm. Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. You just got a bash on the head? Come on, Arthur. I mean, I know Arthur's not a doctor, but... A bash on the head can lead to a lot of different things. Concussion. Permanent yeah. brain damage. Cause Dutch looked bad. He looked really bad. I don't know. Your head is one thing that you need to treat like a sanctuary. You can mess up a lot of different parts of your body, but your head is not one. Word. Well, come on then. Kill me. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Law 
Is that it? They'll get near full about you. Better believe it. You shoot a prisoner in a cage? What are you talking about? Actually, can I open this up? You think this makes you a hard case? Huh? All right. Glad to be out of there. Guess we about even. You stay out of the morning. I helped you out, buddy. Yeah. Just this once, though. All right, so I guess we got to wait a while before we can. Do another mission. So I'm going to do the Eagle Flies one, even though it's all the way up here. But I'm going to do the Albert Mason one while we're up, while we're up there. Oh, the Dutch one just popped up. It's okay. We're still going to go up here anyway. Let me get my hat on. Now I'm just reflecting like at this point, this game has gotten to the point where I don't want to put it down. Somebody said that in the comment section. They were like, I think it was on the one episode where Sean died. They said, oh, this is the part where I didn't stop playing the game. Like I just kept going. But I see why. It's easy to drop this game in the beginning, for sure. Yep. Like I said, I've had tons of friends, including myself, drop the game time and time again because they thought the boring or they thought the beginning was just boring. And it, it's not necessarily boring now that I think back at it. It's just I don't know how to put it. I guess just slow. It's a slow build up. But it's weird that me and like some of my other friends couldn't last during that slow build up because we all play JRPGs. And every single JRPG, if you're a JRPG player, you know that all of them are slow build up games. Like like the beginning of the game is super slow and usually there's not a lot going on. There's not much combat. Whereas I feel like Red Dead at least had a lot more combat going on. I think another problem that makes people kind of bored of games like Red Dead is the realism. I think the realism is something that a lot of gamers don't want, if that makes sense. Um, I'm one of those people that I can do both, but I think a lot of people just really like fantasy and they're just really into something that isn't real at all. It's just easier to be carried away and just taken into this like world that doesn't exist, you know? Whereas in Red Dead, it, this isn't really fantasy, right? So you just make it, it kind of feels like real life. So it doesn't really feel like you're being taken into um, a world really as much as it would if you were playing like Final Fantasy or I don't know, uh, Persona, etc., etc. Xenoblade Chronicles. I mean, we can name the the art the JRPG. So you're still alive, huh. Mr. Morgan. How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am His faithful servant, although perhaps not His most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. <laughs> ah, that is a silver dapple pinto. I know, beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. <laughs> How about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure, wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> All right, let me get my horse. Yep. Oh, this music's kind of hidden. I 
why did this horse get all the way over here already? Jeez, we just saw them. Okay there. I gotta herd them. You want your likeness taken? Go then. Move it up. Go on. Look pretty doing it. <laughs> Come on, horses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can make them move even faster with your gun? I had no idea. Molly. Keep moving. Now run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's it. I've got it. I've got it. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. That was pretty. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. That looks good. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Arthur should be able to appreciate that. He likes art. Now for, a few final for the most part. Uh, well, yeah, we're not too far away from this mission. Man, why did this feel farther than I thought it was? We got here quick. I don't know. The map's really intimidating when you look at it, but then when you like actually start riding, I feel like you get places really fast. I don't know. It's really easy for me to immerse myself into this world because it's so beautiful and the story just intrigues me so much and I love the characters. I think the older I've gotten, the more that I started to appreciate story games. Narrative. I really enjoy games with heavy narrative now. I mean, I've played a lot of games recently, like in, within the last 10 years that were just like completely narrative with no gameplay at all. And they became like some of my like top 10 games of all time. Yep. So if you can somehow mix an amazing narrative along with amazing gameplay, hence this game, then I'm there. I'm definitely there. Also, you guys have helped me. Help me, please, kind sir. What happened? Oh, I've seen this guy before. I remember you. Help a blind man. There you go. Is he actually blind though? Run from the seeker, sir. Run and keep running or help others to run. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Maybe he is. Girl. Are you still here? What are you waiting? Natives are up there. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, 
Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. <laughs> if you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Oh, this is cool. Little first person view. I like how the music changes when we do missions for the natives. We've snuck into this place before, haven't we? Hey, I remember stealing some Pick oil thing in here. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Did he not see me? Interesting. I'm going to start loading up. I'm pretty good at sneaking. Okay, he's walking away. We should be clear. We're in, baby. Oh, no. You must be. Oh, here we go. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file <laughs> by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice I... floor as this. Are you going to talk or what? It's here. It's here. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. <laughs> Danbury. Danbury. You okay? Tell 
of the guard, you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> Yo, Arthur is so amazing, man. <laughs> How is he so good at this? Hey, 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 hey. Hold it right there. Uh oh. On the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't tell you again. Oh, well. You're How did that guy eat like five bullets to the chest? That's crazy. You're done. No more joy. You're not getting Oh my god. I'm gonna eat you. Whoa. Die. Oh god. There is a lot of guys here. Make your face. You're dead. Oh, I miss every one of those shots. The hip fire in this game is tough, man. I need to go. I'm trying, I'm trying. Nice. Did you get the documents? Yeah, but we need to get the hell out Okay, of Mr. Bow and Arrow. Follow me. I'm following. They're coming uh -oh. after us. All right, get the rifle out. This is ridiculous. Shoot them. I don't see any more of them. Y'all better have the money for that real. Explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. <laughs> I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. <laughs> you saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. That's pretty good money. It wasn't amazing money, but it was all right. Yeah. It'll pay the bills, I guess. I just saw some a new mission. Marco Drogic is up here. All the way up here. I haven't been up there yet. We should go check it out. We probably need to clean some of our guns, low key. Let's go see what his next mission is, though, first. What the heck? What's going on with the game? Oh, let me say before something crazy goes down. I need a save. There we go.
does suck that we're pushing our horse so hard in this rain. Ah, you good girl? Yeah, yeah there's a girl. Wonder if we'll get any new missions though. Like, you know, the little stranger missions that pop up since we haven't headed this way yet. Yeah. I have like, if you guys are curious, I have like $2,500 currently right now. So we got a decent amount of cash. It feels like a tornado out here. Look at how the trees are rustling. What's that up ahead? What's this person doing? Stay the hell away. Hey, you ain't got no business being here. Just minding my own business. Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. Okay. You turn Come on. Right yeah. around, you hear me? Yep. I don't know what the heck he was hiding. Why does this guy live all the way up here? In the mountains. It makes him even more sinister, to be honest. Yeah. That's no good. Uh, let me get a shotgun out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus. I probably should have stopped. Crap. All right. I got this. Don't worry. do uh slugs bro okay drink a tonic drink a tonic ah they're biting the crap out of me dang it i know that one was running away but dang They were definitely tearing me apart. You done good, girl. Yeah. Hey, girl, easy. No, okay. I don't want to fight all these wolves. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. There's a girl. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful up here, though. I think there's something up here. 
Maybe a cabin or something? Let's get off the horse though. Oh, somebody might live here though. Whoa. Whoa. Hello? What in the Hannibal Lecter is going on here? It's a meteorite? What? Oh my god. Ouch. They have a lot of food and stuff in here. What the heck? I can't believe we just found this right now. That's cool. A beauty card. My goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with the meteorite, but we got it. Let's go, girl. Yep. Did a meteorite just literally fall from the sky and just take out those people in that cabin? That's crazy. Okay, we're close. I'm going to save after that because like that was a cool find. Never would have thought we'd find that. Imagine the likelihood of that happening. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Yeah. Bro, this is literally in the middle of nowhere. You gotta let me in or what? What the heck? Is he sleeping? What am I supposed to do? I just saw maybe it's time sensitive. Maybe I need to wait. I need to make a camp somewhere. All right, well, let's set up a camp. Kinda sucks to have to like lay out in the rain at least he has a tent okay so the mission is available now that it's nighttime so we're gonna go over to it oh my god i cannot see anything does it just like constantly rain over here in this area that thing is lit up It's a cool little factory, though. What the heck? If I not go about to go around the back? Maybe. Yeah. Hello? Yo, what the heck? Anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn 
and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Okay. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did. Oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved the biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, what? Well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. <laughs> of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Okay. Follow flashes, up in hills, and plant conductor rods where filament glows solid. When all three conductors in flex, lightning strikes the rods. Whoa! I guess this one goes here. Okay. Now, find the position for the second conductor. You're doing a bang up job. Remember, this is for the good of all mankind. All right, this mission's already weird. I hope you live longer too. Oh my God. That's definitely the spot. That's it. Two down and one to go. And you're not dead. <laughs> yes. What and death? The master equation that unlocks everything. We're so close now. Whoa. Whoa, fire. That wasn't you, was it? Good, good. Marvelous! Fantastical! Return to the left. Is he trying to make electricity? Was it Tesla that wanted to make electricity free for everyone? History is ours. A momentous, momentous occasion. The history of nature and life. Glorious day! <laughs> <laughs> I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. Well now? Well now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. A robot? Like this. Am I missing something? The switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Okay. Oh, 
I like how Arthur's just going along with it. Got myself into. He's like not even questioning anything, but I think he's trying to build a robot. Uh oh. Just tell me what goddamn one of these things to pull. I am an invisible world engineer, not an electrical technician. Okay? You better hope I ain't fried up here. <laughs> Okay, they're all off now. Let's do this one. There it is. Don't get to do that a lot in this game. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. It is incredible. It is. <laughs> That's a cool looking robot. <laughs> he lives! My son lives! <laughs> what is it? It is life itself. Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. <laughs> <laughs> the way the Arthur's looking at him. Or now. I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine bottle a few steps. <laughs> I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the actual hell is going on here? I came all the way out here just to see that. That's nuts. All right. Well, that was actually kind of a cool mission. <laughs> All right, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. This was actually a pretty long episode, so hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day. Peace. Hope will never die. Orale.